Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to implement conditional statement in email template. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to print dynamic data in email template, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development label is there. Different types of playlist available with different topic and with the real task cases and if you need any support related Odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow the repository and uh, we have some social media pages make sure also follow those pages to get the latest notification and yes in case you support this channel using many ways buy me coffee paypal or using this join button so let's back to our main topic like how you can implement conditional statements in email template using Jinja to in template engine all right so let me go to the template which we created already so this is the template here and let me preview this one you can see this ramu record is here for the student and you can see this false automatically print in this email template which, which is false right we don't need to add such type of content in the email template so for that like we are trying to implement if condition then after we are trying to add also if else statement and then after we will try to add also if else if and else statement so how you can implement basic conditional statement in email template using Jinja template all right so now I'm going to an editor you already know we created a new module which is wb email template and you can see email underscore template dot xml file is here and you can see this is our email template we created right now we are trying to add here the if condition step conditional statement here right so for this table now let me provide you one more extra information which is very helpful while you trying to implement Jinja to template right so here the first thing is in this body underscore html tag if you see here like if i will try to remove the space from the beginning right so it will go to in the first line so this indentation having uh, some issues while it will convert into the jinja to template so it will try to update the email template record especially in the body underscore html part right so for that if you want to prevent such kind of let's say the formatting issue we have to use cdata as a tag but let me provide you here one more thing like let's simple try to implement if condition right so you can also understand what it is what i'm trying to say you so here we are trying to add one more condition statement right so for that we have to use the percentage sign after that space if and here we have to provide the let's say the condition part same as what we are trying to add in python side like let's say object dot hobby underscore list and colon colon means it's end of this if statement all right and now python side we are maintaining indentation right but in jinja 2 template we are not defining any indentation right so for that like we compulsory need to close this if statement so for that here we need to use again percentage and end if so this code we have to write down here after this if statement all right so you, this means so here jinja template automatically understand okay this piece of code we need to print if this condition is true or else it it will escape to print this code in the email template now let me upgrade this module if you don't know how to configure this uh, odoo in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained over there okay now you can just observe you will have like assertion error element or two has extra data line 3 and if you are trying to check this bunch of error you will not understand anything all right 
you can see a convert XML to import here it's having an issue so if you want to prevent such type of issue in this code we have to implement here one more code so for that like we can use like this C data and simple we have to print like this okay now we have to cut this three piece of line and we have to paste here in this before this field tag over right and now you can see here if i will try to remove so it will automatically remove one line only so it's maintaining the specific format for the jinja template all right and here if you maintain this type right or xml or let's say html so we don't need to use this one also otherwise it it will automatically rise one more error now i'm trying to upgrade the module one more time and now you can see it's working fine all right i'm going to here trying to refresh the page and you can see this if statement is available now let me click to this preview so you can see while we choose the ramu right it, it don't print anything but let me add here this sunny student csv so you can see this meditation this record is available here so it means our if statement is working fine all right now let's say i'm trying to add also if else condition so we implemented successfully this if condition now we are trying to implement else condition okay so for that like let me add here some more content hobby is right like this and you can see this is our if condition now i will add here else and simple i will try to add here sorry let me remove this table format and i will add here object uh, sorry so in a else L statement we will add like in a board not available and once our else statement is over we compulsory need to add and if all right now i will try to upgrade this module so without any error it's already visible and now you can see the code is also changed here now i will try to preview so you can see hobby is not available right for this ramo student and if i will check here change this one so you can see hobby is meditation one two three four so this is for the if statement right if and else what about like you have a multiple conditions so that is also supported so for that like let me add here like br and let me go to the student profile to find out uh, some meaningful if else statement so you can see this id one so like this id we will try to implement here okay so what is this field name id that's a if object dot id equal to equal to one we can use here like this this student having id1 
now let's say if object dot id in two three four five six seven eight nine this student having id and here we will try to add a dynamic data so here it's like object dot id and i'm trying to over this p condition right and simple i will try to add else condition this student don't have any id so here you can see we use here two if stat two if statement which is wrong so for that we have to use here else if all right now i will try to upgrade the module now you can see here the code also updated and you can see here if there is any error right so it won't it won't be display the whole template so this is the main disadvantage for the jinja 2 template here and you have to compulsory find out in the backend side you can see here so this one it's failed and you you have to try to understand this error all right so you can see here encode unknown tag else if so this is my mistake not the else but ill if right and now i'm trying to upgrade this module one more time close this tag and i'll try to preview again it's having a issue so unexpected end of template so you can see we didn't implement the and if statement right so again i am going to here and if you can see also the template also updated here right now i will try to print preview this one and now you can see student this student having id2 which is executed this else if condition okay this is if condition let me add here three one and here you can see fail to render template expected singleton hobby one two and three so this sitaraman having a more, more than one uh, let's say hobby selected right so due to that it's having a issue in the while it's render this template so during that time it's having a this issue singleton error don't worry about this one i will try to resolve this error in looping structure so let me add another one chanakya and you can see here again you can see this student having a more than one hobby so due to that the template is not executed okay and if i will try to add this one and you can see this is the id one and it's executed this if condition so else condition never executed so this else statement always execute if uh, let's say this two condition is unsatisfied right so using like this way you can implement if else if or let's say if else if else condition using this percentage and the condition like this all right you can also add nested conditions like this if inside the if and if then after else if your condition data and here let's say else and end if all right 
so like this way you can also add under this if you can also implement another if statement right that is also possible this is called a nested stat conditional statement so i hope you understood this conditional part in the jinja to template engine in if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in next session and our next session should be how you can implement looping structure all right so see you in next session